When I meet a new client, buyer, seller, investor, I never want to assume that I know what it is that they want after just one to two minutes of speaking with them. The problem is sometimes it's easy to prematurely make these assumptions because our brains sort of like to put people in a box, almost like a filing system, for the purpose of creating order and in turn assuming that we already understand what this person is looking for very quickly. And so on today's video, we're talking buyer's lens, seller's lens, and investor's lens. Coming right up. So a great way to avoid this dilemma that I mentioned in the intro is to either one, go down the checklist of questions, sort of like a doctor, try not to interject until you've gone through your entire list. The other number two, the other useful exercise that I like is to explain the different lenses within which real estate is viewed. And instead of seeing things in either this or that, black or white, I like to envision all of my clients somewhere on a continuum based on what their needs and wants are. So on the buy side, assuming we're talking about an owner-occupied purchase, I wanna know how important location is to them, right? If location is very important, I'm putting them further on the continuum of a traditional home buyer. If they say no, you know, Maxwell, I'm okay roughing it a little bit, and if it means that we're able to get into a small multi-opportunity instead of just a single family with an ADU opportunity at the same price point, then maybe I'm putting them further down the continuum of an investor. So location's a big one, and so is quality of living. I wanna know what they like to do with the property and the parcel once they purchase. So for example, if uh, getting into something turnkey is very important, they still may be able to take advantage of the four primary benefits of owning real estate, which is principal pay, pay down, appreciation, tax savings, and perhaps cash flow. But I'd still place them further on the continuum of a traditional buyer than someone that's looking to come in and fully gut and remodel, convert garages in the ADUs, um, add additional dwelling units at the zoning permits or, or even infill, right? So, so that's the buy side. On the listing side, if you're a seller, aside from analyzing the comparables of the other recently solds and pendings, it's also very important to look at the home in the eyes of a buyer. So you have to go back and think about what made you fall in love with your house initially, what is it that a buyer is going to think when they're walking through your home? And how does your home stack up against the other homes that you're currently competing against in the market that are also active? So those are the lenses of real estate. You have buyer's lens, investor's lens, and seller's lens. Any more questions on that, reach out to me. I love talking about this topic. It's Maxwell Brian Ventura with the Disher Group, part of Douglas Element here in San Diego. Your key to America's finest city Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.